Welcome everybody to another episode of Mind Your World. I'm your most illustrious host, Ryan, back at it again with another video for you to enjoy. In this week's video, I got the opportunity to visit Tokyo University of Foreign Studies, where I got to interview four great individuals who tell me about the experience here in Japan. And I hope that after watching this video, maybe it can give you some insight about being here as well. I'm Ruby. All right. From yeah. Australia. Okay. <laughs> I'm Keita, and I'm from Japan. Uh, well, from Yokohama. My name is Kanin Shitaka Miro, but that's actually like the real Thai name. I'm from Thailand. So you can just call me Senmai. Nice. That's my nickname. Um, my name is Jake. Originally, I was born in the Philippines and then I moved to the UK when I was 13, and that's the reason why I speak like this. Nice. I moved here after high school to do my whole degree here in Japan. I wanted to study a language in Australia. Most people only just speak English, so I wanted to not just speak English. <laughs> At Taos, I'm studying the Spanish philology. Mm, right. Now I'm the fourth grade student. I'm studying in international and area study at TAF as a Japanese major student nice. for bachelor degree. I am teaching English here. I was here two years ago. I was studying Japanese. I love languages. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy that everything is on time and people respect being on time. I'm a very on time person. I'm always too early. So in Australia, most people are quite late. So. I was always waiting for him, and more and more, <laughs> so it's very nice. And it's a very clean country and very easy to live, I think. It's quite similar to Australia, I feel, in lots of ways. It's not too culture shock coming here. Someone studies in a language. It's like you put yourself into another world, another world. You get a uh, different vision of the world. Everything is quite nice, um, especially two things. The weather, the weather is nice because there are four seasons and you can see the change, their beauty. And because I'm in Thailand, it's always hot, so I love when it's cold here. And another thing is, Japan is very safe. Like, if you're in Thailand, you can't just put your back on the table and go somewhere else you lost something, but if you're in Japan, you won't lose anything. You can be really relieved living here. The safety. I like the friendliness of the people, the politeness. I like how punctual people are. Yes. That's all. Nice. I would change the... Try and make a world that everyone could speak sign language. Lose that diary of being deaf and not being able to hear. If everyone could speak sign language, we would make it a lot easier. <laughs> That's what I'm doing my degree on. And I hope to work with in the future. I've seen thing that came to my mind was that there would be no more war. Yeah. The living in Japan taught me that. People be very considerate about others' feelings, so if I can change anything, I would want people in the world being more considerate about others' feelings, like before they talk or before they act something. I would make sure that people um, try to learn more about different cultures. I think it's very essential to uh, make sure that people get along different cultures, different backgrounds, different you know, stories. And if you travel, make sure that you actually learn something instead of just simply taking pictures so posting on Instagram to brag about it. And yeah, that's all. Kind of almost like minding your world. You could say that, yeah. Mm. Cheers. So that concludes this week's vlog. Thank you all for watching and tuning in and always tuning in because, you know, if it wasn't for you, the viewers, I wouldn't be making these vlogs. I probably would be, but still, thank you for watching. <laughs> also, special shout outs goes to Ruby, Senmai, Keita, and Jake uh, for being part of the video and sharing with me their time spent here in Japan. 
also even greater special shout outs for Jake for actually bringing me to Tufts and you know showing me the campus. It was pretty beautiful and it even got me thinking about my university days. As promised to you, a new phrase for this vlog. This week's phrase is going to be skides. So skides just means I like it. So whether you're talking about food, music, or movies, or even this vlog, um, you can just say skides. I like it. Well, thank you once again for tuning in to another episode of Mind Your World. Once again, I am Ryan. Always thank you for watching these videos. Uh, stay tuned in for the next vlog because I always have a special one in store for you. But until then, you already know the deal. Sayonara.